Do you have a Facebook Live video or some other video on Facebook that you want to bring over to YouTube? In this video, I am going to show you how to do that, but I do have one warning. There's a, there's a good reason not to do this, and I tell you that at the end of this video. So we'll start out over on Facebook and go to your profile and then find the video tab. It might be under more here. Look for the video that you're hoping to upload to YouTube. Click on this one here. I'm going to pause this. This was a Facebook Live that I did with someone. You can see this both together there. And now what you're going to do is come up all the way to the top and replace the www with the word mbasic, M-B-A-S-I-C. Hit return. Go ahead and play the video from this page. While it's playing, right click and save video as. I'm going to download this. Doris was the person I was working with. I'm going to pause that. And I can see here at the bottom, if I go to my finder and look at my downloads, can see that it's downloaded here. I'll just do a quick open with QuickTime Player to, to check and make sure it looks good. There it is. Now I'll switch in my browser over to YouTube to my channel where my avatar is in the upper right hand corner and click the plus video icon and then upload video and I'll go and select that video and bring it over. So I could, I would just go here, drop it in and it would upload it. And I could then give it a title and description and whatnot. So this is the point in the video where I want to explain why I suggest not doing this. So Facebook and YouTube videos are very different and really you have to be serving your audience and what they expect on each of these platforms. So on Facebook Live, you may be talking longer, you may be engaging with your audience and people are there together and they may see that other people are commenting at the same time. On YouTube, totally different. People are there alone. It's me talking to you and you clearly can't interact with the video. So if you're seeing other people interacting, you're a little bit like you're feeling left out. So what I would encourage you to do if you're in a situation where you have an amazing Facebook live topic or content that you put together is re-record the video for YouTube where you're speaking directly to the camera lens. You're speaking directly to the one person who's watching your video. Now, if you'd like to watch another video about why you should be speaking like this, go ahead and click on up here. I've got more videos for coaches who want to use YouTube as part of growing their coaching practice. I'll see you in the next video.